June 5th, 2022. The vision was written. August 12th, 2023. The vision was made plain. July 19th, 2024. The vision was executed. Every great journey begins with a single vision, a spark of inspiration that with time and effort grows into something extraordinary. This story is about the Virginia all-female ride, a vision that became reality. This day started as a dream, a dream to unite women to ride together and to make a difference in Virginia. On this day, that dream came to life with hundreds of incredible women, all sharing the same passion. It was more than just about motorcycles. It was about connection, empowerment, and the unbreakable bonds of sisterhood. From the moment we arrived, the air was electric with excitement and anticipation. Joy and laughter filled the air. Women from all walks of life coming together to celebrate each other and the journey we were about to embark on. It's just gas. And it is. Hey! Hey! What's up, baby? Hello! Chesapeake, Virginia. Miami meets Hampton Roads, Virginia. Hansa Harley girl is a Hansa Harley girl. Do y'all understand how long we have been following and supporting each other? And here we are in the same state. She came out here to support even after having jitters about the forecast, which I understand. But she's here. She came to support. I just and she's so beautiful in real like she she's beautiful in, in in her videos, but she's so beautiful in person. Like her soul, her 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 like just look at her. Thank Yo, you, Rose. she came all the way down. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here at Virginia's first all female ride. My first all female ride event and it's lit. The ladies are out and they're riding on twos, threes, yeah, everything. Yeah about us today all yeah, weekend all weekend so y'all know i had to show miami uh <laughs> call you miami honda harley girl because she supports and she rides and she is just dope so y'all make sure y'all go follow hhg honda harley girl honda harley girl out yeah. okay brooklyn 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 yes, okay you i see you Catch my t-shirt tomorrow. I'm gonna have my own. That's what I'm talking about. Did you ride down or you go down? Right down here. Your bike. Let's go, church. Church. Oh, okay. Can we go see it? Oh, yeah. Church lady, can okay. we go see your bike? Uh, can we go see your bike? Yeah, we want to give you a shout out. Yeah, we love seeing ladies. Oh, okay. yeah, that means I'm gonna tell you. That means you'll join us. Let's go. But beyond the joy, there was the ride. The road called to us and we answered. 
Every mile we rode, every inch of that 37 mile route, we felt the freedom, the exhilaration, the pure thrill of being part of something bigger than ourselves. Let us pray. God, we just come to you this morning, Father, and we just want to say thank you. Thank you for being God. Thank you for being good, and thank you for being good at being God. God, we come to you this morning thanking you for just being sovereign. You're a God who sees and knows all, and you have no record of failure. So God, on today, our prayer is intentional. It is a prayer of protection. It is a prayer of prosperity. It is a prayer of peace. God, we know that in the midst of danger, your word tells us that you are our shield and you are our protector. So we lean on you on today, Father, for protection as these riders go out. Father, I pray that you will dispatch your angels to be with these riders. Cover every part of their bikes from the helmet to the wheels to the heels. God, cover them as they move on their 37-mile journey. God, I pray that you will not only keep them aware, but keep those that are around them aware of them. That they will not encounter any issues, any sickness, any accident, any incident, any anything on today, Father. That you will bring them back safely. Father, touch the leaders of this movement. Touch the sponsors. Touch the ride squad. God, touch everybody that's going to mount a bike on today. And honor their efforts, Father. Honor their yes to impact the community. God, be with them. Be with law enforcement. Be with the people, the traffic control folks that are leading them. God, you get the glory. And you get the honor. And you get all the praise as they move forward in their goals on today. And Father, as the engine roars on today, we pray that change will roar. Change will roar in the community. Change will roar down the highways that they travel upon. Change will roar around everybody that they come in contact with. God, we thank you, we honor you, we adore you, and we love you because you're faithful, because you said you God, we thank you, we honor you, we adore you, and we love you because you're faithful. Because you said you would do it, we know that each and every rider will come back here safely without harm, hurt, or danger. Keep them, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I believe. And if you are in agreement with this prayer, scream and clap your hands and say, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Okay, y'all. My face probably looks crazy. I have been crying since we pulled back in. My GoPro SD card has an error. And I don't know if I got any of the footage of the ride. But you know what? The feeling I have right now, I don't even care. Usually, I'll be really upset. But when I tell you, I don't care. We were surrounded by history makers, women in the motorcycle community who set their own visions years and years before this idea could even come to fruition. So y'all, I'm here with Miss Jen. Y'all see me be at the Jacksonville all female ride. This lady, oh my God. She has been my inspiration. I'm not gonna cry. I've been crying all day, y'all. So we're here in Virginia. I'm supporting the Virginia All Female Ride. This was these ladies' first ride at headquarters. From start to finish, from the meet and greet to package pickup to my goodie bags. I had so many accessories that I could use. I think I even had a humidifier in there. I had like a, I also had like a finger five, you know, my five. My fingers always get all messed up on the motorcycle. So I was like, oh my God, I had a shot glass. I mean, I had so much that I can use. So I value, I had so much fun. And if you're in the Virginia area 2025, go to the Virginia All Female Ride page, support the movement. Come out and support. These ladies did an awesome job. They had so many police officers. They shut down the city, y'all. Period. Period. So guess what? They did an awesome job. And I support. And thank you for having me. Let's take it. <laughs> But our ride had a deeper purpose. We rode for a cause, domestic violence. Together, we raised $3,000 for charity, turning our passion into a force for good. It was a powerful reminder that when women unite, we can change the world. 
Our ride and our initiative even caught the attention of the local news. They highlighted our mission and the incredible turnout, showcasing the strength and unity of women riders. The ride may have ended, but the memories we made will last forever. Everybody's in VA. Everybody's in VA, y'all. I can't, I cried today. Let me show you who made me cry. This lady right here, she started it. Then, then it was her, and then it was her, and then she made the tears fall. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. As the sun set on this unforgettable day, we knew that we had created something special, something that would inspire others and leave a lasting legacy. What started as a vision has now become a reality. And with every ride, every connection, and every act of kindness, we continue to grow and make a difference. So let this be your confirmation that with a vision, support, grit and a plan you can do anything you set your mind to virginia all-female ride committee we did it ladies we did it <laughs>